So, Emma, um, this this man who's in the dock and he's accused of this um, this awful um, situation where he would plan a nighttime uh, raid on the home of Holly Willoughby, <laughs> knock her out with chloroform and kidnap her. Yeah, he was planning to take her to uh, a dungeon um, that he'd set up somewhere miles from anywhere. Um, in the paper, it's quoted as saying some, her screams couldn't be heard for miles. Gosh. Um, had detailed plans within this some horrific group that had been found by this American detective online um, of all sorts of depraved um, actions that he was planning. And he wasn't just um, fantasising on his own. He was recruiting people to help within this group. He would send them deep faked images of Holly. He would, um, you know, he had something like over 30,000 images of her on his phone. He'd followed her around. These images weren't just these awful sexualized images that had been manipulated, but also ones of where she lived, where she shopped, where she was hanging out. He planned to take a tour of the ITV studios in order to get a better sense of the layout of that. You know, he, um, he was not just obsessed, but um, you know, completely obsessed, but also managed to bring other people into this plot. And I think that's the really frightening part. This isn't just one awful human being's um, psychotic plan. It's that he managed to get co-conspirators mm. involved. So, so he's in the dock. Uh, he's being charged with all of this, Emma. How do we, how do we have this uh, evidence, these accusations against him? Um, who, who did he share this info with that where it went wrong for him? So he was on this online group um, called something like Abduct Fans, um, people who fantasise about abducting women. Um, and a, you know, an American detective infiltrated it and became part of the group, gained their confidence um, so that he could collect all this evidence. I don't think he went in there knowing, possibly if he's an American detective, knowing who Holly Willoughby was. He saw a picture of her apparently next to a wheel, <clears throat> uh, a Wheel of Fortune type thing, and thought she looks like a TV personality yeah. and did a bit of being a detective. Yeah, did a bit <laughs> of research. But but he, had a he was, he was investigating the group and found this plot within and, it. And Gavin Plum had a sort of... Well, he had a checkered past, frankly, with, with similar sort of fantasies that he'd tried to carry out previously yeah. as well. That's what the jury have heard uh, during this case. Um, just great that he's being brought to justice and, and facing trial, obviously innocent till proven guilty. Yeah. But, um, Shocking that, that, that things like that website, that, that got me then when you said there's a website for people to go to to, to, mm. to fantasise about abducting to people. Share this, um, these... Sick people. Yeah. Sick people.